Hello, welcome back to the Last Shot Podcast with me, All Things Wrestling, and Stefan. Yeah, better known as Shawn Michaels Jr. Who's that guy? I don't even know. Some gimmick, I think, some uh, character. I don't even know who that who that is. Yeah, just, just hey, some pretty. Guy. At, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, pretty cool guy. I mean, you know. Hmm. Uh, first thing I have to talk about is Johnny Gargano's status in WWE. Um, there's a lot of buzz saying that he's going to be staying in NXT mm-hmm. while Tommaso Ciampa is on injury. I was actually hearing that uh, they wanted him on 205 Live, which I don't really want to see. I don't have any interest in 205 Live. I mean, the wrestling is great, don't get me wrong, but I it's- don't want to see Gargano there because he's much bigger in he deserves much better than 205 Live. So, for right now, I think for him to stay in NXT is better because most likely they will fuck him up on the main roster right now without a jump. Um, I can agree with you. I think 205 Live, if he did go, is a glass ceiling, which it's definitely not Johnny Gargano's territory. And in NXT, if he could hold the belt. You could have a series of matches with Adam Cole and Johnny Gargano now that he's going to stay down there. I would like to see it go across a couple of pe- uh, takeovers, personally. I want to see a good old fashion rivalry with Johnny Gargano and Adam Cole, personally, if they're going to keep it this way. Um, yeah, and uh, matches on Top 5 Live are, I mean, those matches are freaking great. But WWE doesn't have any interest in the brand. So putting Gargano on there won't do anything for him. Um, yeah, I agree. Uh, we can have uh, we can have Gargano win right now the title on the upcoming takeover, and then Cole can chase him until Summer Slam weekend. So I don't know, Damn. you know, or maybe we can I don't know, or maybe we can have Cole win right now, and then Gargano can win in uh, you know Summer Slam weekend. Mm. And Cole can go to the main roster, and Gargano can stay in. Yeah, which makes sense. If Trumpo will be out for, for, you know, eight to twelve months, it me. Yeah, definitely makes sense. <coughs> I just want to see what they're going to do. But anyway, I think that if Gargano yeah. wins, it could be a great way to weasel Adam Cole out of Undisputed Era, which would be a great yeah, way uh, to do the storyline. Uh, listen to uh, listen to this. Listen, um, I don't know if Cole wins right now or Gargano, but but like I told you, if Cole wins right now, Cole can lose to Gargano on summer. Uh, another thing is, if Cole wins right now, they can have, or if Gargano wins right now, they can have uh, Gargano join the Undisputed Era. If that happens, uh, let's say in, in uh, August... Uh, Cole, get, Cole can go to the main roster and Gargano can be in with Undisputed Era in NXT. But when Ciampa returns, he can be a babyface. The, role the roles can be switched around. Yeah. I don't know what you think about that because if you've seen that video about Ciampa uh, with his kid and wife, that was pretty emotional. Mm. You know? I think the only problem is trying to get him babyface to the NXT fans. That that will be the hardest hurdle to get him over with the fans because yes, fans love to hate if, him. If, if uh, Gargano joins the Undisputed, and if Gargano is the champion, and if Champa, and if they show the video packages of uh, Champa, he can easily be babyface. I yeah. Think so. yeah, yeah, I've got a fair point on that one. Just they did it with Rollins, but and then I don't know. Turned him heel I, again. Yeah. Yeah, I really don't want to jump the ship right now because a lot of things could happen. And uh, let's, ju- let's just uh, enjoy the ride. Man. Yep, yep. I'm just looking forward to take over. Uh, and then Michelle McCool said some interesting comments saying because uh, women are headlining this year's WrestleMania, they should get equal pay as if, say, AJ Styles and Randy Orton were headlining. And okay, I th- I th- I'm going. I'm going to say right now. I'm sorry. I'm going to say this right now. I don't agree with that because Orton and Styles, uh, Reigns, uh, those are the bigger name, bigger name. And uh, just because in the world 
in the I mean everywhere right now in the world uh, in the world I can't even Jesus Christ uh, there is everywhere uh, you know the woman equality okay. so I understand but again you have to look at it from the business perspective Get, you know Arton is the bigger name uh, range so also you can't really pay those equal in the same amount as you pay others who are bigger names uh, I disagree. I think obviously mania payday is different to the contracts. I think the women should get the big payday if they're main eventing because they, uh, they've earned if, that main event. Because uh, obviously you, you get you, a if, shit ton bonus for mania if you're, okay, if you're in the top. I'm spots. sorry. Uh, listen, I didn't. I didn't add this. If you're talking about WrestleMania main event, then yes, I agree. They should be paid more than men. I mean. Yeah, I think they should be paid more, but for resume, not for other pay-per-views. Oh, no, no, no. I just mean, yeah, because this is the Mania yeah, payday. Yeah. They should get the Mania payday because they're headlining yeah, I Mania. Agree I think... I definitely... I do agree with you. I mean, we're not going to get into the whole gender pay gap in WWE because, God, that's a long topic, and I'm, I'm not willing to get into that, but I just think for a Mania payday, Ronda, Becky, and Charlotte should get a nice, big, fat bonus paycheck because yeah, of the main event. Yeah, uh, what was what I was trying to say is you can't pay uh, Alicia Fox the same amount as you will pay, for example, Roman Reigns. That's uh, that is unreal, unrealistic. Oh, yeah. uh, that I can agree but, with because yeah. well, Alicia Fox is terrible. But yeah, for WrestleMania, I agree they should be paid equally or or even more because they're in the main event. Definitely, definitely. Uh, then just a quick uh, condolences to Terry Funk because his wife Vicky passed away to, uh, yesterday. So uh, my thoughts, uh, prayers go out to Terry yeah. Funk in this very difficult time. As well, I agree with them. Uh, may she rest in peace. Uh, okay. <laughs> then. Uh, Let's talk about Lars Sullivan, because uh, obviously, it's as we know, still yes, he is still employed. Oh, he has I'm not been surprised. fired. I feel uh, it has been stated in here that if Mauro Ronaldo hadn't have had the situation he had, Lars probably would have been fired by now. But they're being very sensitive towards this situation. But Triple H has hinted that he will return, because he could return for Mania. Because Cena was scheduled to face Lars Sullivan at WrestleMania. Yeah. And that could still happen because John Cena is pretty much confirmed at this point to be on the show for a match. He signed yeah, the contract so and all that be. kind of thing. So John Cena's confirmed for Mania, but he hasn't got an opponent. And it won't be Kurt Angle. It won't be Kurt Angle, I'm sorry to say that. It's, that's nah. pretty much off the cards. No. Uh... I think the WrestleMania opponent for Cena will be. I know this is out of topic right now, but I think it will be LS. Yeah. You know, they may do some skit or something, some promo with LS where Cena interrupts him and we get a quick match between the two. So I, I expect that. I don't expect anything more than that. Mm. No, the I only don't... thing I can see uh, Sullivan being in it, maybe Battle Royal. I know a lot. I know some men are uh, announced for, but again, they can change things, in, you know, in the matter of seconds. So, mm. uh, and what's your thoughts on Lars's absence anyway? Because uh, he had the anxiety attack. Um, I think a couple months ago now. Mm. It's a serious stuff. Uh, it's not a joke. To be honest with you, I'm not. Uh, sometimes I have. An anxiety too. It's uh, it's if you know what I'm talking about. It's not really uh, it's not something for uh, joking around. It's a serious stuff. It can, it can be serious. It can affect you. So from uh, I can definitely understand if he wants to you know kind of step away for some before WWE makes makes the the decision to bring him back. Mm. I th yeah, obviously anxiety and depression is a very serious thing. Look at Mauro Ronaldo with his bipolar disorder. It was serious stuff when he went off uh, WWE television. I mean, in this situation, you can't do anything but nurture the people because any negative effects. And 
we've obviously seen and heard of all these celebrity suicides recently. That's why I think mental health should be brought to the forefront and talked about more than it yeah, is because it's, people it's suffer important. in silence for years and then end up killing themselves, which is horrific. Yeah, and this is sad to say, but a lot of wrestlers deal with that. They deal with uh, because you know a lot of them pass away because of the problems or drinking or stuff like that because they're on the road 24 7 so you gotta look things from their perspective it's not easy it's really not easy definitely not i mean i do wish lars all the best in his recovery and i hope to see him soon because i do like him as a wrestler i thought it was very intriguing and i'm hoping he can work through his personal issues yeah he was uh he was pretty good he had the he had that uh, pretty good match with, if you remember, with uh, Alistair Black at TakeOver last year, I think. Or, yeah, last year with uh, Alistair Black. Was pretty damn good. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, best of luck, Lars. Uh, uh, Bray Wyatt talked about, as you heard, he's uh, going to have a baby again. Uh, good for him. Yeah, um, JoJo's pregnant with his baby. Uh, he has confirmed the name is Nash, because it ha- starts with a K, so I thought it was Kanash. The K is silent, <laughs> so his name, the ba- baby is named Nash, which sounds a lot less stupid than Kanash. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, congratulations to him, and uh, that's great to hear, but yeah, I mean, I don't have, I don't have really much to say. I just hope uh, he gets back as soon as possible as soon as he's ready because he was dealing with injuries um uh, and i would love to see bray Wyatt back i mean uh i know a lot of people may not miss him but his presence is you know it's missing it's missing especially now with the undertaker probably not going back to wwe uh a lot he will be, you know, back for Saudi Arabia show, but he won't be there all the time. Bray Wyatt can take that place. I agree. I definitely agree on that. I do think we need him back. Cause God, there's just no interesting character. We need Bray back because Bray was fantastic. I mean, they just need to sort out his booking for God's sake. Because they're so flip floppy with him, it doesn't help. But yeah, he should. Uh, I'm thinking he should be back after Mania. I'd say. I would love to see, uh, personally, I would love to see a feud between uh, Daniel Bryan and Bray Wyatt. Yeah? Uh, I, don't know why. I don't know why, but just, you know. I feel like that would be really good promo work as well. And uh, this time, if you remember, they had a feud uh, in 2014, I think. Uh, uh, yeah, where, I uh, Daniel joined the Wyatt where, family, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, they can do right now, they can have a Brian with Harper and Rowan against Bray Wyatt, against Babyface Bray Wyatt. So, they basically, what they do is switch roles between Brian and uh, Wyatt. That will, I think that will be cool. You could put Luke Harper with Bray Wyatt and have it like a two-on-two thing. Or do that. That'd sound good. It's a good Luke Harper something yeah. to do. Because he's kind of, he's, yeah. he's been cleared since February the 26th. It's been cleared for over a month yeah, now. Yeah, he will be, he will be wrestling uh, at the WrestleMania Access this year. Ooh, nice. Yeah, Good. he actually posted that. Uh, he posted that on uh, his Twitter. So I think he's ready to go back. Maybe we will see him in the Battle Royale at WrestleMania. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just saying because I know some some names are announced right now but like i said i know tom will uh, i know you will agree with me they can change things in a matter of minutes oh yeah before the show yeah uh yeah definitely uh then we have uh the women's uh, evolution pay-per-view is reportedly not uh being done this year um which I think is uh, bad and good in the same point, because I feel like it was just a cash-in in the first place, just to be like, you couldn't come to Saudi Arabia, here's your own pay-per-view. I don't think yeah, they did it for uh, any other reason than that point. That was the case. Um, but it was not... I mean, it's not needed, in my opinion. Uh, they definitely have a lot of uh, female talent right there. 
but you know it's why would you do that because if you remember you had like legends coming back and other people instead of focusing on the current female talent that you have which i think they should do instead of bringing back female legends like trish and late i mean it's cool to see them you know but you need really to move on from the past because there will be a point in time where you won't be able to bring those legends back so you have to make your own talent right now exactly Keep the legends coming back for a Royal Rumble where it's fun yeah, to just see that, them back for five minutes. Or Mania, pop out goes, Mania. Don't have a match, just kind of appear. Oh. That also goes for uh, for everyone, not just for females. For everyone. Just everything. We don't, we don't need part-timers. We don't need to see Rock. Even The Undertaker, we don't need to see him every time. Um, I mean, the guy can barely move. Uh, we don't need to see 50 years old in the ring. No. Instead of that, we need to see a new talent like like Ricochet showcasing his skills at WrestleMania. That's what that's what we need, not uh, you know legends. Because like I said, there will be a point in time where they won't be able to bring him back, but they don't have any talent right now. So you know they're just putting themselves in the doghouse. Because what they will do if they can bring back Undertaker? What they will do? They won't be able to do because they don't have anyone right now. Exactly, to put so they in, need to build their stars and, and, and not the worry only about your person, The only person that is guilty for that is none other than Vince McMahon because he doesn't believe a new talent. He doesn't believe in them to, that far. That's and you know, he can say, he can say, grab the brass ring, but he doesn't care. He, he puts he's the one raising the brass all. ring, so you can't reach it. That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah, Naomi. Uh, anything else to say about that, or? Yeah, Naomi actually sh- threw shade at WWE during that because they announced they're doing the female battle royale at Mania. Because they're yeah, like, whatever, I don't care about that. It was boring last year, and I think it'll be boring this year. But she reacted to saying, uh, "You're sh- you're sure this ain't gonna get cancelled too?" By the way, thank you so much for the opportunity. I feel like the last bit was sarcastic, and the first bit was re- re- referencing the cancelling evolution. Yeah, uh, I don't, I don't understand one thing. If uh, I mean I understand right now, but why wouldn't they want to do instead of listen? We everyone wanted to see back against Ronda. Why wouldn't they do just Charlotte against Asuka once again at WrestleMania for the title? I don't understand that. That's just stupid. I mean, they could do that. They could have done that, but they didn't go that way. Because Charlotte is the chosen one, and then won, they won her in that triple threat match. And they uh, want to put both titles on the line because they've teased it on social yeah. media. Cause, yeah, because yeah, I to don't know. You probably your agree. Belt. Yeah, you probably agree with me. We could get Charlotte against Tuska for SmackDown title, and we could get uh, Becky against Ronda for Raw titles. I think that would be better. Oh, it definitely would be. The SmackDown Women's Championship just looks like a waste of space right now because they just basically went, oh, it doesn't deserve its own Mania match. We'll just shove it into the other match we're doing. It's like, what the uh, fuck? B- but for haters, I need to... Listen, I understand, but you need to understand one thing that a lot of people are not talking about. Uh, there's think of, there's thing about trust. Uh, I don't know if WWE and Vince is ready to trust Ronda against Becky in a one-on-one match in the in the main event the WrestleMania. So maybe that was also the reason that they put Charlotte in. But again, they put Charlotte in because they wanted her there. But in this way, uh, puts more pressure on the Becky and Charlotte to carry the match instead of just Becky and Ronda. It, the thing is, we gotta think Becky won't be in this match if they did if she didn't get injured before Survivor Series. It would have just been a one-on-one Charlotte and Ronda. Which and is a we sad already, fact. We already got Charlotte and Ronda. Exactly. And so I, didn't want, I didn't want to see that. I mean, once it, again... It was an alright match, just... Yeah, but once again at WrestleMania, why would we get yeah, that? It's, I don't know. I don't know. Ugh. Did you know that at one point, they wanted us against Beck? At WrestleMania, at one point, I'm I'm I'm, I'm serious. I'm not kidding about that. 
But let's just get on to the Asuka situation that we should really talk about now. What yeah. the fuck? Why is he not to wrestle me? Yeah, what have they done to Asuka? This time last year, she was the hottest commodity in the company. This time now, she's basically just the doormat. In one year, she went from the one of the best female wrestlers with the intriguing to, meh, she's there. Which is ridiculous. Uh, do you know the thing I don't understand right now? Uh, you you said you have, I mean, we had Asuka's uh, SmackDown champion. Why did she even ask for that WrestleMania? match because as a champion she should by default have a match at WrestleMania. She shouldn't be asking around for a match. It's stupid. I don't really understand that. If you're a champion you should have automatically a match at WrestleMania. Yep, I think so. But they've basically just killed her, dragged her through the mud, just put her in a really bad program with Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville, making the belt just pretty much meh. And then took it off her before actually having a mania match. I mean, yeah. what are you doing to ask her? This is why we can't have nice things. We can't so have nice stupid. things because Vince breaks uh, them. We, I don't understand this logic right, right now. Why ask her can't ask for a remix? And why she couldn't be added to that fatal, fatal rematch? Uh, I don't know why. She can't ask for a rematch because I mean, WWE stopped doing automatic rematches. Probably to do this. Uh, I know. Uh, uh, wait, they stopped doing it at all? Even, uh, yeah. I mean, I understand they announced that. Oh, yeah, this, they announced uh, it when all the McMahons even, came out. They said there will be no automatic rematches for any titles. You don't get a rematch clause now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which uh, I do kind of I, understand I was, and I do like yeah. it because... If they've lost the belt, you don't really want to see them fight again. Sometimes yeah, but I was thinking matches. it was always. Uh, I was thinking it's just a one-time deal, but I was wrong. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I I want. I hope Ask is probably in the bloody women's bar royale thing mm-hmm. on the pre-show. She is. For God's sake, WWE! So send Asuka back down to our next team. Just be done with it. I mean, I'm so done. I'm so done right there. That's the sad thing is that I don't see her coming back from this. She, uh, was, she was a champion, but she didn't. Thing. She didn't feel like it. No, no. That's the sad thing. <sighs> yeah, it's uh, really bad because she was undefeated in NXT. It seems like everyone who goes to the main roster wins, just doesn't care what they did in NXT. No, which is a sad thing, because they're amazing in NXT. And I'm really worried about Ricochet. I know, I know he has all the talent, I know, but you can't put it past WWE to screw him up. No, unfortunately not. Um... Another thing is, you see the wrestlers right now in NXT. Everyone feels, you know, everyone feels like a main event. And my fear is that when all of them come to the main roster, they won't be used correctly. That's only my fear because, as of right now, NXT is the best brand, in my opinion. Oh, definitely. SmackDown's not. That bad behind, Second. but it's just you need to v- lo- stop letting Vince make decisions on it. it um, SmackDown is good, but feels a little bit watered down. But not unlike uh, Raw. Raw oh, is, I mean, Jesus Christ. Raw is just so bad and such a slog to sit through for three fucking hours. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. If Vince, I mean, the guy is crazy. The guy has one hundred. The the guy is hundred years years old. I wouldn't be surprised if he is that crazy in his mind that he, you know, he wants to destroy Raw for ratings to go down so SmackDown can have bigger ratings when 
SmackDown is on Fox. I wouldn't be surprised. I really wouldn't be surprised if that's no. the case. I wouldn't. I mean, the guy is crazy. The guy is insane. Hmm. I mean, tell me honestly, would you push? Would you put that past win? Oh God, no. No, I know you agree with me. I know you agree. With me. Hmm. Now, yeah, that's it. About now, let's for fun. The Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale has now confirmed all of its participants, which I'm not happy with half the people in this match. Yeah, and like I said, it's uh, they, they will probably change a couple of. Uh, I mean, they can do whatever they want. They can change a couple of things. Oh, let's just go through it. It's Braun Strowman, the uh, Saturday Night Live people. I don't really care about that. Andre, Apollo Crews, Titus O'Neil, Tyler Breeze, Jinder Mahal, No Way Jose, Bobby Roode, Chad Gable, uh, the Lucha House Party people, Bo Dallas, Curtis Axel, Heath Slater, Rhino, Victor and Connor, Ali. Why is he in there? He deserves a much better match. Shelton Benjamin, the club, the Hardy Boys, again. Why are they in there? Hmm. Otis Tucker and EC3. Uh, can you tell me if you know what SmackDown match uh, for tight titles are we getting? Are we getting the SmackDown tight titles know. match? Fresh me. Because oh. if we are getting, we should get definitely Hardy's hard in them. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I thought it was going to be the Hardys in the tag title match. You know, they brought him up with... Uh, I mean, they brought him back with all the momentum, with all the hype, and right now, everything that is down in about two weeks later. Mm -hmm. uh, there is it's no so confirmed sad. SmackDown tag title match. No. That's horrible. I mean, how do you think... Why would I care about the title if the title is not showcased to rest? I don't know. I also don't they get what... To... Hmm? Continue, sorry. No, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. I just said they need to understand that because if the title is not showcased, we can't care about title. We won't care because we don't have anything to see, you know? Exactly. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I, I have a little bit of delay, so I'm sorry if, you know, I start speaking over you, I'm... Nah, that was my fault that time. It's your turn, man. <laughs> uh, like, I, I'm really hoping they change the, t uh, one of the US or Intercontinental title matches to not be a singles match. Because I really uh, what think... What match? you got Bobby Lashley and Finn Balor and Samoa Joe and Rey Mysterio. One of those two should be a ladder match. Because a ladder match on Mania is always entertaining. I think it should be the uh, the Intercontinental Championship match. Because you could put in people that could have a decent match. You've got enough people to put in there to actually have an entertaining match. Yeah, I agree. Um, I, I agree with that. I don't want to say anything else that you already said. Because I do agree. Yeah. Uh, and then... Just a little note, uh, Hacksaw Jim Duggan went through a successful heart procedure and has said he will be home tomorrow after it. So, good news for Hacksaw Jim Duggan and uh, best of luck on your recovery, mate. Yeah. Just a little note there. Uh, and then, I read this and it made me laugh. Uh, Impact Wrestling, you know Al, uh, Ali, who's leaving for AEW... Yeah, yeah. Her last segment on the show that she'll ever she's filmed, she got killed. They killed off her character. <laughs> In 2019, they killed a wrestling character. That is just mental. Mm. In what way? Uh, I think someone killed. Uh, some someone took a soul or some shit like that. Ready? That's funny. Oh, oh yeah, I think uh, I've got the video up. Uh, I think someone stabbed her. That's yeah. Someone stabbed her. Okay, and just the fuck. We're in 2019, and you just murdered somebody on TV. <laughs> the fuck? That's like attitude era crap. Oh, it's funny though. 
I like how they're doing stuff out of the box again. Oh shit. I'm just reading something right now. What? They could add a leather max for NXT Core New York. Ooh. For what title? North oh, American. Shit. For, for, no, no, no. For uh, woman's title. I like that. And there's idea. a picture. Uh, there's a picture right now, and I just find that news. On the picture is Shaina Baszler, Bianca Belair, uh, Kari Sane, and uh, what's her name? Io Shire. What's her name? Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, I know who you mean. Uh, yeah, so that will be actually pretty cool. And that's that graphic is on WWE.com right now. I know they're pushing for a Mania match in a ladder match as well. So here's hoping they decide to do one for TakeOver and WrestleMania. Because I like ladder matches. They're fun. They're not boring. And they make the title seem more interesting. Exactly. Uh, okay, now we have questions to answer. Because I think I've oh, covered all shit. the topics I have. Oh, shit. Did you hear this? Uh, I just found this out also. What? I mean... Okay, we... This is a little bit surprised. I'm I'm a little bit surprised, but they're thinking about adding. I don't know if this makes any sense. Adding Roderick Strong to NXT North American title match with Matt Riddle and Velveteen Dream. Oh, I'm um, I'm just literally found that news, and it's on multiple sites. So it's not just a rumor that's going around. That will be... I don't know, what can you say about that? I like the idea, because it'll make the match more interesting. I mean, first first we are getting a change in a ladder match, and now Roderick... I don't know. But that is not confirmed, because there is not any graphic. But for this, for a ladder match, there is. So it will be interesting to see. In my opinion, whatever happens, I mean, to be honest with you, any match can realistically main event take over. Hmm, definitely. Let's go to the questions. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. First one is well, you can answer this one because I have no uh, input on it. Yeah. Uh, what's your opinion on Kaya? Uh, Keanu Reeves John Wick movie franchise. I'm just going to say this right now. Uh, who did ask that question? Who? Uh, that was you know? uh, Joe Benton ninety five. Listen, if for everyone out there, if you like action, if you like action movies, you need to see that movie because there's like you know he's so good he's he's so good in that character. You need to see it. It's like, you know, non-stop shooting around. It's, and the uh, camera, you know, it's a uh, it's steady camera. It's not, there is, there isn't like 100 cuts in the sense. And it's, it's like really good action movie. So, if you have a time, if you want to see a good action movie, go watch that movie because it's pretty damn good. I'm just going to tell you that. I won't tell you anything else. All I'm going to say is there is, you know, you have two movies. And the third one is coming on, coming soon. So, if you want to see them, see the first two one. I mean, see the first and second one, because the third one is coming soon. So that's all I have to say. Oh, good. Uh, then who's better, AJ Styles, Adam Cole, or Seth Rollins? That is from Boomster Thirteen. Because that is oh, quite. Shit. That is a hard question. Uh, I know Tom. I know you will probably agree with me on this. As a all-around performer, it's Adam Cole. Hmm. I mean, all-around performer. I think for talker As though, it would have to be style. AJ. For my skills, it's got to be AJ. No way. I I think so. Everybody? I think AJ is the best talker out of the three of them. Because I find Rollins quite boring. Uh, I think it's Adam Cole when it comes to talking. I mean, I I, I need to ask people down to write in the comments. Who do you think? It when it comes to Mike, Mike's skills, who is the best? Yeah. Uh, Rollins is not, definitely not, I don't think so. In but ring again, work. Rollins, AJ, or, 
or call and uh, mic skills. Type down in the comments. And I, I, I want your opinion. Out of the three of them, Rollins has probably got to be the least best. Yeah, I think I think in my personal opinion, Adam Cole. And in ring work right now, Seth Rollins because Edge Styles is old. Adam Cole, he has you know he is doing his stuff. He's definitely definitely a great worker, but. Yeah, he's not just taking... great in the ring. AJ's yeah, kind of yeah. slowing down a bit in his age. Yeah, listen, Adam Cole is not taking those risks. Uh, like he's not jumping all, all around, which is personally a style that I really like. Uh, Rollins. I mean, what do, what do we even need to say about Rollins? And when it comes to Adrian Styles, go watch his TNA highlights. Oh god, I'm telling you, so you will good. be amazed. I'm about to say, the if we're going AJ great. Styles back in the day, then he'd have to be all of them. But obviously, modern day it's, AJ's got to be a bit safer. Jesus uh, Christ, if you think Ricochet is amazing right now, go see, I'm telling you, go watch AJ Styles. Guy was exactly. insane. And for selling, it's got to be Cole. Cole sells better than both of them. Yeah, like I said, I think all around wrestler is Cole, definitely. Hmm. If you look at the age, if you look at everything else, all around Cole. But if you look at Mike's skills, like you said, Adrian Styles and Seth Adam Cole, in rig work, I think we all agree right now, Seth Rollins. Yeah. When it comes to the charisma, there is, I mean, can you even compare someone to Adam Cole when it comes to charisma? The guy is oozing charisma, literally. Yeah, definitely out of the overall presence feeling, Adam Cole does bring yeah, out the yeah, biggest yeah. one when he comes out. Followed by Seth and AJ, because AJ's kind of toned down his overall presence, because Rollins still gets a reaction, AJ, AJ gets a bit of a less reaction. AJ is a wrestler. AJ is more a wrestler than an entertainer. And Adam Cole can do everything. I mean, yeah. the guy can sit in front of us, he can, you know, you know, he can throw a gamma in front of us. It will be interesting to watch him do that, mm. because the guy has that presence. When it comes to Seth Rollins, he can be boring sometimes, but Seth has best matches in Raw. He's really kicking ass, Seth, right now. Yeah, uh, then we have a really good couple of questions. One from Tic Tac and one from GFTS114. Five shocking things that can happen at TakeOver and five shocking things that can happen at Mania. Let's start first with... Uh... Let's start with WrestleMania because personally, I'm more. Uh, I'm. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know if you agree with me, but I really can't wait for Takeover. I'm really like you know. I'm really hyped more for Takeover than for WrestleMania, which is strange. Yeah, it's normally the case, isn't it? To be honest. Yeah, but it's WrestleMania. It's not SummerSlam. It's WrestleMania. Yeah, but whatever Takeover could be good. Let's start with uh, WrestleMania. What do you think five things that may happen? Uh, mm, Sami Zayn return. The Rock, do you agree? Uh, yeah, The Rock could appear. Maybe. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh, Maybe Stone Alive. Yeah, he could come out with John Cena and just have like loads of people beat him off because shits and gigs. Uh, yeah, another thing. Uh, I know Tom will probably agree with me on this. Uh, do you know the guy uh, Rob Gronkowski? Gro 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 yeah, that guy. Yeah, Mojo's Frank. I think he will be at WrestleMania. Yeah, because he's rumoured to wanting to sign with WWE, so yeah, I think he'll make an appearance. Uh, Maybe another... I, I mean, let's add, a, add what they want. If you I want to bring Sami Zayn back heel, rather. I think he'll interrupt uh, one of the other US or Intercontinental title matches. Yes, that's, uh, you know, third thing. Uh, uh, I think uh, Conor McGregor may be showing up at WrestleMania. Yeah, I can see that happening because he's retired from MMA now, so he's a shoe in for a WWE run because, well. And this is really, really, really. Thing that it won't happen, but I'm just going to say it. NXT Invasion. Mm. I, think, I know it won't happen, but I think for the say. Triple H um, Batista match, you'll have uh, Ric Flair and Shawn Michaels make an appearance. Yeah, I think 
I really think so. I was going to say Orton to help, but he's already in a match, so no, I don't no. think they're going to do that. No. Yeah, yeah I, let's th- go I think someone match, but... will help Triple H if he's going to win. I think he'll have help. And also, Miz's father think... will probably get involved in Miz's match. Um, I'm going to get hit for this. Or maybe not, I don't know. I really want Triple H to retire because next year the XFL is going up, so Vince will, will be busy with that. Why don't you just have Triple H retire right now and have Triple H run the company? That will be fucking great. I That's the idea. That's I why I think he should retire. He definitely should retire. Yeah. to. Because what more has he got to prove in the ring? He doesn't need to wrestle anymore. He doesn't need... It's just not needed anymore. Oh, God, no. Definitely not. So I think he should retire at this mania. But if the only thing, if he runs the company, that's the only. I mean, I think that's kind of the really, idea. He'll take more of a backstage role, yeah. even more no than he is way, now. There is no better way than Batista to retire him. I question me. No, and then Batista retires they himself. History. Yeah, they have history. I, mean, like, I beat Triple H. I've done everything now. That's it. I'm done. Drops the mic, walks out. Yeah, yeah, that's. that's uh, and I think Miz's father will make an appearance to help Miz beat Shane. Uh, maybe. I've got to say, maybe. I only say that because he got pushed at um, fast lane, didn't he? Yeah, dude, but Shane has that uh, losing streak at paper use. Maybe. Miz's father helps Shane. Maybe I'd like that more. What, and he's just like, you're a disappointment of a son. When I said I was proud, I was lying. I was proud of Shane, not you. Shane <laughs> is more of a man than you'll ever be. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd, I think I'd like that. Because he couldn't do it in Cleveland, yeah. obviously, because Miz's father runs a shop over there and everything, and he's known by the locals. So you really yeah, wouldn't want to make him a public enemy. Yeah, yeah, you have to keep in mind, Shane lost every pay-per-view match so far. Every match he lost. Every single match that he lost. Maybe, I mean, I'm not including tag matches because obviously he won with Miz. But every pay-per-view match, basically, it's... You know, <laughs> it will be great for him to win. Yeah. At least one. Uh, okay, and let's talk about TakeOver. Uh, oh, five shocking things at TakeOver. Adam Cole, uh, sorry, Ricochet and... Um, what's that? Black. Alistair Black win the tag titles. Yeah, I think that will That would be a big shocking surprise. Also, yeah, because I think they will uh, beat the Revival also next night. So they will become like dual branded champions. Yeah, I could see that happening. Um, who's scheduled to re- who's scheduled to debut? I'm trying to think who's going to debut because that'll be a surprise. Uh, I was good. Mm, can't do anything with Champa because he's out. No, 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 no. Uh, obviously, I the undisputed air returning on Adam Cole could happen. Yeah, been talking about that for like the last month. Yeah. The, yeah, and uh, Marina Shafir uh, joining the Unspeed there, maybe. Or rather, it's wife. Maybe that happens, I don't know. I don't know how they will do it. Uh, I really don't know. I don't know what to say. You know? Uh, yeah, that's tough. Um, what else could happen? Uh... I haven't even got anything else. Really it's hard to think of the surprises for NXT. Uh, yes, do you know why? Because I really enjoy NXT. I really... I mean, we'll be entertained anyways. Mm. So, I don't really know what to say. I really don't know. Uh, um, yeah, I, th- I, th- I can't think of five things that could happen. I, I I mean I, I I think I don't know what I was saying. I think maybe Marina Shafir and Jasmine Duke screw over by mistake by accident Shayna and she loses the title. She turns on him and then goes to main roster. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, I think, yeah, that's definitely a shocking thing that could happen. Uh, Candice LeRae kicks Johnny Gargano in the balls and costs him the towel. Yes, that also. But I think we all agree. This is a strange thing, and I need, I need to say this, and I, need, I really need to bring this up because I don't know if you think this is strange a little bit. Dude, they're really hyping that up, that match, Gargano Cole match with being the one-on-four match with Cole having all three members behind his back. Yeah. Isn't that a little bit strange if they're hyping that up all yeah. the time? So they never usually do that. Because what I think may happen is, like we talked before, even right now, it's even possible, even more possible, realistic that they would actually turn on him. But I don't know when that when that turn happens. Does the turn happens if Cole wins the title or they help Gargan? That's the thing. Hmm. I think the turn could happen either way. Because if if they decide to go that way, they have every right to do it. Cole is right now in the main event and three other guys have his back they can say fuck you go fuck yourself we are we are we don't even have a match to take over you're in the main event you care only about yourself you don't care about us go fuck yourself they can take a spot for them they can have rather they can have they can help cole win the title cole can win the title they can celebrate they can attack him and Rod- roddy can roddy you know can hold the title high and he can be the one who who, who feuds with Cole while mm-hmm. uh, O'Reilly and Fish go for tight titles. I think that's the perfect storytelling. I mean, definitely. I think we're done. And with I'm, the... I'm, I'm just going to say once again, I really don't. I really don't want for them to break them up. I mean, I want them together as a stable mm-hmm. because I really love everyone in that stable. But again, you need to look uh, realistically. Why would they hype up that match as Gargano against four other guys? It's strange, and I don't. And I think Tom agrees with me. It's a little bit strange. It's yeah, definitely a strange hype up. We'll have to wait just, and see. What I have to say about it. It's only a, uh, it's only a week away. And Dang. you need to also remember another thing. I'm I'm sorry, I need to add this. That Adam Cole is hype, hyping up that this is that two years ago he made his debut in that arena. So mm. last year Roderick Strong turned again on P. Dunn. So I think maybe this year they turn on Cole. I don't know. Whatever happens, I know we will definitely enjoy the takeover. Not just that match. You have Everton Dream material, you have Shayna Baszler. You yeah. have what else do we have? A uh, tag title match for Xavier, Alistair Black, and um, Heavy. Uh, oh, uh, War Heavy Machinery. Yeah, I'm. I'm really. I'm really looking towards that match, tag match. I think that will be insane. If you didn't look, uh, the th- if you didn't watch the tournament, I really recommend to go on the WWE Network and watch the tournament because those were some insane matches. Yeah. It was so fucking great. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, then we have from Dennis1214, who will main event the next great five man. WrestleManias? And bold prediction, what matches do we think will main event... What match do we think will main event next year's Mania? Okay, next year, uh, I will answer first. I can say... I can think about two matches. Uh, I don't know if you will agree with me on this one. Hmm? Um... Jesus Christ, it's hard. It's hard to uh, Seth Rollins. No, I don't. I don't see actually Seth Rollins. I was think. I was thinking about saying Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, uh, that match, or maybe Roman Reigns uh, versus Adam Cole. Something mm-hmm. uh, other than two matches. Uh, I don't know. Who I would love to see uh, Alistair Black against. The Undertaker, but that won't happen. That would never yeah. happen. Uh, I'm just gonna. Mm. Seth Rollins against Roman Reigns, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one for next year. 
Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to go with that match too. Oh, Becky Charlotte. Could happen. Maybe we finally get Becky against Ronda because he, she can take, uh, you know, some time off after WrestleMania. She can come back. Yeah, because she's planning to start a family, but realistically, that means she could be back in time for next WrestleMania if she got pregnant right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. We so yeah, I, I think yeah. Uh, and the next five, just put Roman in all of them. I'm just gonna say Roman for all of them. To be realistic, uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I would love to see NXT guys. I mean, you have Ricochet. <laughs> there is no way. I mean, I don't think I, I want Ricochet to main event of Mania. Could happen in the, in the next five years. Maybe like think, 2024 Mania. I think. I don't know. I think in the next five years, I think we'll we will see at least two WrestleManias main evented by Adam Cole mm. and three WrestleManias main evented by, by Roman Reigns. Then again, on trip, uh, Vince steps away next year or the year after. Yeah, and people need to realize, I'm, I got a question, uh, I mean, I got someone asked me, why do you think Adam Cole will, will succeed? The guy is 5'9", five, 5'10", five, over there. Why do you think WWE will push him? Listen, the guy, like I said, the guy has it. The guy, he's got it. He can be a top star in that company. I, I know Tom agrees with me. Hmm. It's just a matter of time right now. And for Reigns, I don't know. The thing is, I don't know if they... If they push him back to the main event spot, he will get hit again from the cross. So, Oh, yeah. That's what I was saying. Uh, what I was saying, uh, you know, few episodes uh, ago. I think the best thing to do is turn Roman Reigns heel at WrestleMania right now. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Yeah. So yeah, I think Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, uh, let's say, uh, I will say again, Brock Lesnar. You need to be realistic. Uh, AJ Styles and Adam Cole. I think those are the five guys that we will see main event WrestleMania in the next five years. Yeah. At least some of them. We'll just have to wait and see what will happen. But people have got to realize that WWE is not about height anymore. No. It, it's not that focused on the height and the muscles of a wrestler anymore no, yes no. I, granted you have Brock Lesnar as one of your champions but look at your other champions you've got Daniel Bryan you've got the Revival as tag champions you've got the Usos as tag champions you've got Ronda as a women's champion she's not tall or muscly really no it's not no, what no. wrestling's focused about anymore it's about the athleticism that character the presence of a pe person it's not about how muscly they are which it was back in the 80s and 90s yeah and if people compare uh, Finn Balor from 2014 and uh, Adam Cole from now you can definitely see that as a performer as someone who can be at the top it's Adam Cole even Triple H today uh I mean, yesterday, I think, in the ESPN interview, he said that Cole is basically one of the guys that is, right now, with the character he has, he's basically larger than life. It's crazy to say that, but the guy can control a crowd with one fucking finger. The guy can say boom, and everyone will say boom. If that doesn't fix a lot, I don't know what, what does. Exactly. Exactly. We're just... I just can't wait to see what the next five manias will bring us, though. I'm just fucking sad because of uh, Dean Ambrose. So sad to see him go. He could still sign. Yeah, but he doesn't. He he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't look at all that he cares about anything. He's just like walking out there to get a paycheck, and that's all. Same goes for Nakamura. The guy 
if you compare Shins Shinsuke Nakamura from this year and when he had a match with Sami Zayn, it's not the same guy. No, definitely not. I, I don't know what's going on. And I, I, I want I wanted to speak with you about this. I don't know why. This is just this is not a question, this is this is just a topic. Why do you think why are they watering down all the wrestlers from NXT? Is that is Vince jealous on Triple H or what's going on? I just think he has no clue how to carry on the momentum. To be perfectly well he doesn't want NXT. So I don't think he has a clue who they are or how to use them. So I think it's not purpose. I think he just has no clue what he's doing with these you people really think, that he doesn't get. You really think he, he doesn't know what what to do? You really think what he believes, he thinks that's right? I just think the guy's just getting clueless with old age, personally. I think he just... I mean, if, if Vince right now, if he could uh, brought back Hogan, H H Hogan, I think he will do that. If he could brought him back right now. Well, he is. I think Hulk Hogan won't appear on this Mania, but I think he'll appear next Mania. Listen, I'm speaking about when uh, Ho when Hogan was, was in his prime. I think if Hogan was right now in his prime still, I think Wentz will want to have him back. Right oh now. yeah, definitely. That's what I'm saying, because he doesn't have trust in these new guys. And it's sad. Mm. It's really... I need to add another thing. I know how many things did I add, but I need to say one more thing. I don't know if you agree with me, but Ricochet, he really needs to slow down with those flips and dives. I, I understand that's the thing about him, but Jesus fucking Christ, if he wrestles like that five week, uh, five nights in a week, he can literally, the guy can end up dead. Like, seriously. Yeah, I do agree with that one. I mean, it's so fun to see, but at least he's not doing it as extreme as he did it on the indies. Because in the indies, if you watched a Ricochet match, Jesus Christ. It's got more Who doesn't know about that? Uh, you can uh, search the New Japan up, uh, Ricochet, Prince uh, Puma matches. Yeah, Actually, it's Prince Puma and uh, yeah. uh, Will Ospreay. Because that is an infamous match because people either hate it or they love it. I think it's fantastic. It is. It is. It really is. Um, yeah, that's that's about it. I mean, we talked about a lot of stuff today. We have uh, one more question. One more question. Yeah, sure, go on. From Punisher 315, uh, top three favorite video games. You can either do of now or of all time. Your choice. Okay, this is going. This is going to be easy right now. First, GTA San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Second, Grand Theft Auto V. And third, Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. Uh, let me get my list. I actually have a list of my favourite games of all time. Uh, third is Burnout 3 Takedown. Two is Life is Strange. And one is Silent Hill. So fucking good. Actually, all of those games Silent are fantastic. Hill, uh, Silent Hill is a horror game, right? Yeah, on PS1. Yeah, fucking good. And yeah. Life is Strange, it's really good. It's also yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, my current favourite game, though, is Dragon Ball Universe 2, which is all oh, I've put in an insane amount of hours into so far since I bought it. That's the current game I'm actually playing. And, yeah, absolutely adore, because I'm a massive Dragon Ball nerd. So, that's fun. So, yeah, what's your current game you're playing most at the minute? Right now, uh, to be honest, I'm not playing a lot. Uh, I mean, sometimes I'm, uh, you know, I'm just getting play some GTA V. Uh, but right now, I really have a game that I'm playing. I actually, I love, I love the last game I was playing. Actually, I'm lying to you. I love two weeks ago, three weeks ago. It was the Resident Evil 2 remake. Oh, that's so good. It's so fucking good. Uh, the only game I regret not playing is Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, you need to get it. No, because I'm not... Uh, I'm, before I say this, I know I will get some hate. I know people will tell me. But I'm not really a console guy. All my, all my life, I was a PC guy. So 
I really like, you know, PCs over consoles. Mm, I'm, so uh, that game is not on a PC, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm more of a console than a PC gamer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, PC, just... PC is easier to record footage from because you can just record, record whatever you want. But not I only that. Not only that, but on PC, if you have a pretty good PC and you put everything, all settings on ultra or high, you will have a better graphic experience than a PS4. I can, mm. I mean, trust me about that. Uh, on on PS4 and other consoles, the game uh, games are optimized for the consoles. And mm. other thing is you have, for example, on consoles you can play on 30 FPS per second. Or yeah, yeah, I mean on 30 FPS, and on PC you can play or 60 or more. So that's the advantages on P for PC. But yeah. When it comes to exclusive uh, games for uh, consoles, especially for PS4, yeah. I think it's yeah, it's pretty good deal. But I don't really have you know I don't really have any interest in uh, getting into uh, into console gaming. But I, from my personal point of view, I like a console better because of the fact you could you know you're buying a game that will work. Whereas if like me, you have a pretty outdated computer. You've always got the problem of will this game work properly on my PC? Whereas I do agree. On a console, I, I can that. buy the game and I know it will work. Whereas in this, I have to look up specs and worry about it. And just, I just like yeah, console for the fact you can plug in and done. Yeah, but I agree. But uh, but I know you will agree with me on this one. If you have a badass computer, a high-end computer, and you need you don't need to worry about system requirements. You will oh. have a better gaming experience than on PS4 and Xbox. Oh. oh, I agree on that one, but as a person who hasn't got the money to upgrade and I have a yeah, PC yeah. I built three years ago and a lower-end budget definitely. PC I built yeah. in the first place, I don't yeah, do I much do gaming because it's not powerful. And on PC, it costs more. So if you're just a gamer, get a console. I mean, it's simple as that. You don't need the PC for... Uh, gaming uh, if you buy a pc you're buying for everything you're not buying just for playing games yeah uh, this pc does fantastic for youtube videos and streaming and everything just it's not the greatest for gaming but uh, yeah, i have my but console for that was, when i was playing gta 5 on my brother's uh, ps4 and uh, on pc the difference is day and night, especially comparing 30 FPS to 60 FPS. It's insane. Mm. So I'm just going to say to everyone, if you have a great PC, you don't need the console. You really don't need it. But if unless you're just you want to play games, exclusive games, yeah. But if you're playing, uh, you know, if you wanna, if you really want to play the exclusive games, or if uh, you know, if you're just a gamer, if you're not editing stuff or st or things like that, just buy a PS4 or X Xbox 360. I mean, Xbox One. We're not. We, but, we do not recommend Xbox One on this platform. We no, recommend no, that you buy that's PS4. What I was just trying to say, PS4 always. When I was little, I was playing PlayStation One, PlayStation Two, PlayStation. I I, I don't think I was playing PlayStation Three because that's when I got into PS PC gaming. But yeah. When it comes to the consoles, PS4, in my opinion, is better option. Yeah, and also on a PC you can get emulators, so you can play pretty much any console up to PS2. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, which is really yeah. handy if you want to play different games, because you don't have to get a load of bloody cables and do a bloody capture card and all that crap, you can just do but, it on the PC. Yeah. But, but like, like Tom said, you need really to have a PC that can run... Especially emulators like PS PC two. X2, whatever it's called. Yeah, uh, the PS2 doing, emulator yeah. is the hardest thing to get perfect. You'll never get all the games working on it because it's no. such no. a dodgy way to do it. But if you get stuff yeah. like Game Boy, you can play Game Boy games, DS, Wii. You can even play Wii on it now. You can play uh, Game Boy games on a uh, phone. Uh, only if you have Android, not I not iOS. Oh yeah, I'm actually Android guy, so I was using yeah, that. You're fine on well. you're fine on Android, but iOS. Yeah. Just, you gotta get this weird software that doesn't work after a while. It's just, I'll just stick to my actual Game Boy. 
Yes, what, I'm not much of a nerd. I have, have a Game what, Boy. What, what phone do you have right now? What point? What? What phone do you have right now? Uh, I have an uh, iPhone, 7. iPhone 7. iPhone 7? Yeah, I mean... I know this is out of wrestling, so... It's I mean, fine. we'll talk about this. Anyway, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Uh, yeah, I think... I mean, when it comes to the iPhones... Uh, in my opinion, I was using the iPhone 6 for about three years or so. That phone right now is still working like new. I don't know what experience do you have with Apple, but in my experience, the phones are doing pretty good, man. Yeah, I've never had any problem with uh, iPhones. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm using right now uh, Nokia 7 Plus. It's Android phone. Uh, and yeah, man, does the job, so... That was what I was trying to say. If you have Android phone, you can go for Ni Nintendo or uh, Game Boy Emulator, which is pretty cool because you can play, you know, Super Mario or games like that. Or be a massive nerd like me and actually own the physical game and play it on the Game Boy. I actually have Game Boy. Oh yeah, I I play my DS regularly. I have a DS Game Boy Advance. The only one I haven't got is the Game Boy Advance, which I now have a near complete collection. Yeah, it's. Uh, anyways, uh, are you planning to play some new game? To start playing some new games soon? Or? Uh, yeah, I need to get back into game streaming. It's just finding the yeah, time now. Really to... And finding yeah. a game I'm interested in, to be honest, because most uh, games I just play casually. If I'm playing a game, I'm playing it casually right now because it's one that's not interesting to stream. Cause... Okay. Uh, I just want to apologize you really fast. I apologize really fast because. Uh... I'm on the phone actually, so if I'm speaking something over Tom, it's be it's not because I want to speak. It's because there is a little bit of delay, and you and you need to understand that. So I'm just trying to say it because I'm not really I'm I'm really not trying to speak over Tom, uh, because I want you know what's best. I want quality. So yeah, yeah. Is that it? I mean, we don't yeah. have. I think, that's covered, I think that's covered it for this week. I think we should make a video, a separate video. I don't know if you agree with me on this. Um, maybe WWE took it 12, I think. 12, is that what's coming out? What? Or took it 20? What I'm talking about. Oh, uh, yeah, what about 2K20? Yeah. Uh, we should maybe make a wish list what we will want to see better in that game. Oh, yes. I think we should. That's a good idea. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, we've got some interesting videos coming up, which uh, obviously stick around for predictions, uh, possible WrestleMania yeah. review, depending if I'm dying or not. Because obviously, yeah, sure, even... you'll be fine because you're in America, so yours ends at like <laughs> yeah. eleven or twelve. <laughs> Mine ends at yeah, six in the bloody hey, morning. It's, it's it's still freaking bare right here. <laughs> you look, it's half uh, twelve. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can talk about that. Maybe we can make some videos uh, next next week because it's WrestleMania weekend. If you want to make WrestleMania weekend special, I don't know if you have any plans, but maybe we can do something like that. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty much free all uh, week, apart from Friday. I'm busy Friday. What are you doing Friday? Uh, going out with my mother for lunch and then going out with the family for dinner. So I'm pretty but, much full on Friday. Yeah, yeah. But the, did you know that TakeOver is actually Friday? Oh, I'll be I'll be back for takeover. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll definitely be back for takeover. That starts at like twelve, I think. Must find out yeah. what time that starts. And how Probably long is WrestleMania? Uh, eight hours. Are you fucking serious? Yes, it's the pre-show is two hours and the main show is six. And what what are you making for uh, WrestleMania? I mean, for food, what are you getting? I'm getting a takeaway and then probably a shitload of coke and probably just get some. Shitloads of drugs to stay awake, dude. I'm nah. getting. Do you know what? I'm I'm going to make my own burgers. Nice. That will be. I think that will be great because I really want to make special. You know, for the past few years, I was just ordering for the you know pizza or things like that, and I really want to make WrestleMania weekend. You know, yeah, special to me because I feel like I feel like it's. It's a vacation. It's a special day for me. 
and yeah. for everyone who loves wrestling. So yeah, uh, you can also comment in the comments uh, what will you be getting for food and you know snacks. Yeah, for WrestleMania. I would really like to know that. Obviously, leave more questions for the podcast in the comments below, please, because obviously next uh, podcast will be after Mania. Yep. Next Monday, which we'll be filming on that Monday, because we're busy for the evenings. We can't be doing this on Saturday like now, because well, I'm busy. Well, busy Monday because I'm at work. Because I'm off on Wednesday, so working Monday, Tuesday, so fun. So I'll probably be dead while watching Raw and SmackDown. Sorry about that. Hey, whatever. At least you will be uh, good for takeover and rest. Man, that's all important right now. That's, yeah, that's, that's why important. I booked off the week so I can actually sleep in the days to get prepared. Obviously, actually, I. I'm oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, you go. I'm just... No, no, no. It's just a delay. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just go on. I'm... So, uh, yeah, obviously, we'll. I'll be live for uh, Hall of Fame takeout. I'll be live for uh, everything. So make sure you do subscribe to this channel if you're listening to the podcast. We'll be live for everything for Mania Weekend, for everything. So it'll be a fun from horse of my life from like Friday all the way to the Wednesday. So live for yeah, maybe a week. Uh, actually, I took a vacation for a whole week. For a whole week. So I'm just, the only thing I'm doing right now is just waiting for WrestleMania because I'm such a fucking nerd for wrestling. It's insane. When you're back at work. Uh... When I'm back, uh, n- not next Wednesday, but in two weeks. Uh, Wednesday, uh, in two weeks, yeah. In about Damn, 10 days, for you. I, don't know. I only got yeah. a week off. I mean, I was working, uh, dude, it's, you know, seven, eight, nine, even hours a day, so it's only insane. Only seven, uh, nine? You... No, 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 no. Uh, even 10 sometimes, but it's hard because I'm doing like 100 things and uh, when I'm fixing the, for people that don't know, I'm actually fixing the pieces and repairing the computer so it's really hard to focus sometimes if you're doing uh, more in the same time, you know mm. so you need to know which one are you doing and what are you doing to it's, it's fucked up, but I know how you're feeling because you're probably you're making state, you're, whatever you're making a job, so again it's still hard for us and you need to understand a couple of weeks ago I was basically dead for a podcast so I apologize for that <laughs> uh, and yeah that's all I have to say I mean do you have anything to add to that or I think we're, we're done for this not? week's podcast it was a very good discussion of many topics and thank god wrestling news comes out every week because I think, find it hard to bring up topics <laughs> Yeah, and I found some comments below about saying, oh, you know, I was listening before Shawn Michaels Jr.'s podcast, it's not the same like right now, blah, 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 Uh, do a podcast, you know, longer podcast, talk about more topics and that kind of stuff. There you Uh, go, we've done it. uh, Yeah, we've done it right now, but you need to also understand, oh, sorry. Go on. Uh, yeah, we've taken that on board. Obviously, one of the suggestions was do it in two parts, which we're not going to do. We'll just make it a bit longer. Yeah, yeah. I've tried to, yeah. we've tried to be more discussive because thank you for the uh, comments on how to improve. Yeah, that's kind of what yeah. we need. And I need to, uh, to say this because it's you know it's important. You need, you people need to understand this uh, that I know I was making before the podcast on iTunes, but. The reason I, I sound different and everything else, I need to get back. You, I need to, you know, I need to get back used to myself. Uh, and when you are in two countries, it's hard. And when you're away from microphone and podcast, it's really hard to get back uh, to being yourself when you, when uh, when you're recording something. So that's the case. You know. I think it's I, I think it's getting better and better right now. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely improving. Yeah, Obviously, yeah. we just came into this completely blind, not really knowing what to do. So, we are trying to improve each and every week with a good podcast for you, lovely people. That's all, right? We don't yeah, have we are definitely there. done for this week's podcast. We shall be back with many videos over the channel over the next few days, with it being Mania Week and podcast next Monday five. 
p.m. GMT, hopefully, because it might be a bit later, depending on when I actually wake up. 5 p.m. is, uh, you probably forgot to say about that you're in the UK. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, it'll be 5 p.m. Uh, BST, British Summer Time, not yeah. GMT, because that's the winter's yeah. time. So, yes. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Thank you all for watching. As always, if you have enjoyed this podcast, please give it a like. Please consider in supporting on Patreon and oh, channel shit. membership. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> that easy, man. It's uh, you forgot to end the podcast like Quince McMahon. I mean, I'm what's still doing that, way. Do not forget. And if you don't subscribe, you're gonna get fired. That was the worst impression you ever done of Vince McMahon. That's all. Peace. Tom, don't say anything. We're done.